Hi, I am going to tell you today about um, when meditation came into my life and how it has become the most life-changing practice um, that I have ever implemented um, into my day-to-day -day activities. It was the catalyst for so many things and has changed my life day to day in so many ways. So when I started with meditation, um, and I can't even really like pinpoint the exact time I started with it because like many of you, um, I had to try a few times, a few times, a few times before it was something that kind of stuck and I started to feel some changes. So I tried, gave up, tried, gave up. Um, just like I hear so many of you and my my clients, my customers do. Um, I was miserable when when this period of time um, started. I wasn't sleeping well. I never felt like I had energy to get anything done. I was fatigued. I had chronic pain. Um, I just didn't have it in me to do much of anything. And taking care of myself was the last thing I felt like I had any energy for. Like there was just nothing left in me at that point. Um, my mind raced a mile a minute. I tried to get from one day to the next uh, without losing my mind. Um, crying for what at the time seemed like no reason at all. Um, losing my cool. You name it. Um, and I'm sure that many of you can relate because, again, when I'm talking with people, these are the things that we're experiencing. These are the things we experience when we have uh, prolonged, unaddressed stress, um, no matter what the source. So no matter where that stress is coming from, if we don't do something about it, these are the things that start to happen. Um, so I came to a realization that I had to change something um, or I would either be living a long, very unhappy and unhealthy life or continue on this path of what now I see was sort of self-destruction. Um, and then I was having health ailments um, and all these things that really would have prevented me from living any kind of meaningful life. Um, and honestly, if I was here for very long at all, like these health things were things that could have caused me to have a shorter lifespan. Um, and that's just something I realized I needed to change. Um, and again, I know that there are so many of you that are hitting this breaking point of, I don't know what to do, but I can't stay here. I can't stay stuck in this place. Because if I do, I won't be here for my kids. I won't be um, able to do the things I enjoy. I won't be able to do the things I love because the stress is causing so much um, trauma, really, to our, to our body, to our mind, to our spirit. Um, so meditation was just one of the things that I tried to help myself work through the challenges that I was facing at that point in my life. Um, through enough trial and error and practice, um, it allowed me to slow down, um, remove the day-to-day -day pressures, and be still. Something that I had never been good at previously. I was burning the candle at both ends, go, 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 until I crashed. Um, <clears throat> and usually that meant that I ended up with a migraine and I was laying in bed for two or three days to um, get rid of it. Like, this is what the cycle was. And so I was not stopping until my body forced me to stop. And so I created space through meditation to really slow down and start looking at my life, looking at who I wanted to show up as, who I wanted to be in this world, what I had inside of me. And um, man, from there, things just started to unravel in a good way. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so much was able to come out of me in um, so many ways that it was just like I could not keep it to myself. And I that's the point I learned to teach. But throughout my personal journey um, with meditation, I started sleeping better. I my mind and my body were finally getting that rest time, that time to repair and recover, um, which ultimately led to me having more energy and feeling excited about life again. When we don't have any energy, it's really hard to be excited about anything. When we are drained, it's really, really difficult to want to show up. Like, who, who wants to do that when you feel drained and exhausted? Nobody. Um, so allowing myself to get better sleep, and that trickled into my energy and then trickled into being excited about things again. <clears throat> um, and looking back, it still blows me away how far I've come over the last five to ten years in so many areas of my life. Um, implementing meditation allowed me to really connect to myself, seeing and feeling all of the things that I was missing from my life, the things that were happening that I wasn't paying attention to. But once I paid attention and I was aware, those things are absolutely amazing. They fill my cup. I've been able to remove things that were holding me back. I've been able to move forward in areas that I was stuck in because I have a clear mind and I can see a path to getting there and to making this, um, these changes. I release the expectations of others, um, and more importantly, the expectations of myself, like the pressure I had put upon myself, was able to let that go. Um, this allowed me to explore, to learn, to grow, and to begin thriving again, working through extreme sadness, hurt, anger, frustration, um, any of those things that might be challenging you at this point. Um, is so important to moving forward and growing. It is so freeing to feel like I'm in control of my actions, choosing behavior that moves me in the right direction, um, having clarity on what my purpose is here on earth, knowing that this is what I'm meant to do. This feels good to me. It's helping others. It's um, changing Changing the world is what I would love to do. One person at a time. Change the world. Um, so if you struggle like I did, if that previous scenario that I just described um, resonates with you, then send me a message. Connect with me somehow. Um, I'd love to chat with you to see how meditation could help, how it could support you. Um, in where you want to go and getting out of this place of overwhelm, out of this place of feeling miserable all the time, out of being exhausted and stressed out and at wit's end, right? That's what happens. We end up with just nothing left in us. And so it's really hard to care about things, really hard to pour energy into things when we just have nothing left. So I am here to support you. I hope that sharing my story, my journey with how meditation has changed my life um, inspires you to reach out, inspires you to take action and do something um, for yourself and to live the best life that you can.